out there who's unemployed, then we must not, I think, take another jab or anything. Jab, no friends on the cheers. Because when you take your activity and your colleagues to work on the bus station, on the train station, moving around, then you would naturally think about a, a stone calf loft through you. And unneeded sugars and all sorts of other things to make foods addictive. After all, when people are at work, they only have certain times of the day when they can eat, like before they leave on their way to work, during their lunch break or after they've finished. If they even get a break, if they even work for longer than six hours. So if there is no actual discrimination against people who are overweight if they've got the skills and abilities to do a job. When they start doing a job, they are going to naturally lose weight. And that will hide the impact of any kind of medical intervention because it will be happening naturally anyway. But these ones, these jabs have shown to have multiple side effects. And so this is really irresponsible and I think the BBC ought to be investigating it using fitness trainers and nutritionists. After all a few years ago they tested out various diets and one of them was DNA Fit which actually uses your genetics in order to work out things. And it wasn't particularly accessible to the layperson that looked like either very obvious information or way above my head looked at it but to professionals to fitness people who knew about these things it was very useful and they could inform the people of a um what to do you know a simple guide to what to eat what not to eat and other things to do and dna fit came out as the most successful so anyway just saying that with proper knowledge the government could actually do the right thing, uh, not be so arrogant and think they know best and act like a dysfunctional parent as they do. So anyway, rant over.